Hi, I just thought I'd shoot a video unboxing my new uh, EEV Blog branded product, which I'm sure I've mentioned uh, before, definitely on the uh, forum. It's a re basically a rebadged, uh, well, well, it is a rebadged Bryman multimeter. It's their latest model, the BM235, uh, and I am going to be the exclusive distributor in Australia for this sort of thing. You can buy it anywhere else in the world, but anyway, it's, well, you can, even if you're in Australia, you can buy it from anywhere else in the world. But this one actually has my EV blog logo on it, uh, plus uh, some premium test leads and a particular, and my uh, blue color holster, which I'm gonna use on my custom multimeter. Anyway, I was just about to um, open the thing, and then I realized, oh, I should shoot a video actually doing this, so why not? Um, this is my first, um, you know, a rebadged uh, product. So uh, I will uh, probably have to, oh, I don't know if I can, I'm sure I can release the data sheet. Now, anyway, I can uh, link in the uh, manual for this thing. I'm pretty sure they're not selling it anywhere else yet. So I'm the first one to get it. And uh, I've had, hang on, here it is. Oh, this is the 233. They've got different models in the range, but this is, it's, it looks almost exactly the same. In fact, here it is. Ta-da! The BM235. This is how it normally uh, looks. And uh, so I've had this for quite some time. I've been dealing with Bryman on this for well over a year now. I think it's like well over a year. And even before that, they were still working on it. Now, I didn't really have any design input on this thing. I just thought uh, at, at the time, I thought, hey, can you rebranch the uh, BM257, which I really uh, like? Can I have that EV blog uh, branded? But no, they already had a distributor in um, Australia for that, and they're very loyal to their distributors. So they said, no, you know, that'll ruin our reputation with them, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, fair enough. But we've got this new model. This was over a year ago that they're working on the BM230 series. And uh, you can have exclusive distributorship in Australia for that. And we can put your EV blog brand on it, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I said, yep, beauty. I have worked on a couple of little aspects to this. I got a couple of extra ranges um, added to the software. They were really tight on uh, software space, apparently, but they were able to uh, add them for me. It's not uh, specific to my particular model. All the BM235s have it, so uh, regardless of where you uh, buy it from, it will be the um, it will be exactly the same as uh, my one. And I had a little hand in also the uh, just some uh, mechanical uh, stuff inside as well. But apart from that, this is not under my spec. It's not my design or anything like that, but I had a slight little hand in it. And it's really nice. They are not replacing the BM257. That is still going to be uh, sold, but this is basically almost equivalent. It does not have the serial port, even though it's got the big deep thing in there for the serial port. The thing that's missing is the serial port. It's got a couple of extra features. It's got multi-level um, electric field detection, uh, stuff like that, and backlight uh, continuity, a few other uh, things. But it is uh, designed to be cheaper than the BM257 uh, and improved um, input uh, circuitry as well. Once again, it is Cat4 uh, rated. Really nice little meter. I love this uh, thing. And they did, actually, I was supposed to get this in November, but they had a last minute design hiccup and they just had to tweak a little thing. It was a slightly failed spec on one particular thing and they found the cause for that and uh, and they fixed it in production. So apparently my ones are the first cab off the rank. So I've got more than a box of these. I've got like five boxes of these things. Um, I did take a chance hoping that I can uh, sell the things eventually anyway i'm sure i can and i got uh and specified the premium test leads in it so hopefully the premium test leads are in there um i've got uh the i guess well it's not the eev blog blue but i've got a blue uh surround holster apparently i have not seen photos of it they said they would do it so fingers crossed when i open the box that it has these premium test leads these are really nice the uh nice uh, silicone rubber on them extremely flexible you know i haven't cut one open but i'm sure they're like hundreds of strands and nice uh gold plated uh tips on them very very sharp very nice probes i got these instead of the standard ones where it's a bit crappy so i'll be supplying those so hopefully the probes are in there hopefully the blue holster is in there and also um it's got some eev blog it's just got eev blog on the top there i decided to still keep the bryman name on there and the bryman model number so it's like just eev blog bm 23 uh, 235 because i didn't want people to think that 
You know, I could have had anything. They would have labelled it anything I like. You know, it could have been the EEV blog, you know, 555 metre or something like that. But I just, I didn't want to trick people into thinking that my one was somehow different. It's not. It's exactly the same as the BM35. BM235 you'll be able to buy anywhere. Anyway, this is the top of the range. There's the 233 and the 231 or something. This is a top of the range model. It's, as you saw, I think the other one didn't have the uh, low impedance uh, test range and a couple of other things. Anyway, this is the top line one. So let's, whew, let's open this puppy. And uh, sorry, I waffled on there for a while. It came by a Cafe Pacific cargo. So I was on a Cafe Pacific uh, flight. By the way, this is, um, well, it's the second time now I've had another thing, but recently I started importing stuff uh, one came via boat, another product which I've got, and uh, which I'll show you shortly, and uh, this uh, which came by plane, but, you know, it, because it has to, it's not done by FedEx or postage service or anything else, it's, there's all, I had to get a customs broker to actually get it into the country and stuff like that, and it's been a bit of a pain, and there's so many taxes and charges to actually get stuff into this country, it's ridiculous. I tweeted a photo of uh, one for my other product, which I've got, uh, I, there were 12, no less than 12 fees and charges to get this damn thing in the country. Anyway, oh, by the way, a little aside, I've had this for ages. This is the uh, BK Precision, another electronic load. They sent me the updated, ele updated model, um, but I haven't had a need uh, to use it yet, so I just actually unboxed it uh, this morning. So it's the 8... 60 is it? I'm not sure of which actual model it is. Anyway, it does come with the cow certificate and uh, oh yeah, there it is, 8601 model. So I'm not sure that's, I assume, the low voltage model. So, ooh, 60 amps. Wow. Woohoo! Anyway, that's the new model that they've uh, sent me. So that was very good of BK Precision. So um, we'll find that, see that in an upcoming video, no doubt. And also some Sorry, I might as well, might as well update, and they sent in these very schmick looking huge leads as well. Look at those, yeah, 60 amps, no problems at all. So, yep, yep, 2 meter, 60 amp test lead with spade connectors. Anyway, jeez, oh, not really into high current stuff, but that's very nice. Anyway, here we go, fingers crossed that the new EEV blog product has those three things. I have not seen it, oh, and by the way, I could have got the box, actually, <laughs> come to think of it, this is a bit silly. Uh, I could have got the, um, I could have got the box actually designed, you know, anything I wanted, absolutely anything, and it wasn't a huge amount of cost extra to actually uh, get the box changed, but I figure, you know, like, eh, I don't, like, it didn't really worry me. I didn't want to go through the effort of trying to get a graphics designer to, they, they could have done it for me and did all sorts of things, but I don't know. I just didn't care about the box. And once again, I don't want people to think that there's anything special about my version of it. It's literally just got EV blog on it. So the box is exactly um, the same. So it is, ta-da, the BM235. Excellent. So they've got the right model. Um, <laughs> that's handy. But yeah, okay, let's uh, let's unbox it and uh, see what we have here. So, fingers crossed. Is it blue? Is it blue? I see blue. I see blue. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Blue comes out of a red box. I don't know. It's kind of funky. Oh, look at it. Oh, EV blog. Look at there. It is. There it is. And I decided not to put like my face and stuff on there. There wasn't really room because they they weren't going to uh, like retool the uh, silk screen uh, like on on here because this is you know that's a big added experience. Whereas this is just a label and they can just do anything on the label. That's really easy, of course. So there it is. The ta -da, that actually looks pretty good. The Bryman e, that's that's turned up really well. Let's rip that off. And uh, there it is. The EV blog meter the bm235 let's switch it on comes with batteries it's ready to go awesome look at that fantastic oh, why has it gone to uh temperature there we go millivolts yes it has a 50 millivolt range and uh, uh let's have a look so that's all that's all hunky dory excellent beautiful so that's going to be like the new ev blog blue i've got like a uh, pantone color it's just like, you know, my logo's not quite the same colour. I guess it should be now, because 
like they gave me a specific Pantone color and the new custom EEV Blog Multimeter. Oh, I haven't spoken to them yet, but I'll have to get that changed. And it kind of looks a bit silly that they're red and this is blue maybe, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but red is, you know, positive. So you've got to really have that. So yeah, I wanted uh, a different, just a, you know, slightly different, like blue, and it's got the EV blog name. So if you want to buy it from me, just because it's got a label on it and it's blue and you want to help support me, I guess, because I'm making money on each one, of course, um, I've got to run a business. And uh, uh, so yeah, support me then, please do, I appreciate it. But otherwise I'm not fussed. I mean, I'll tell people if you want, if you can get it cheaper elsewhere, or or whatever, even if you're in Australia, then by all means, um, uh, buy it from elsewhere. I'm not uh, not fussed at all. So I don't really plan on pushing this thing hard. I'll probably just start like using it in the videos, you know. So um, yes, excellent. The nice uh, silicon leads, they're excellent. They've got banana. Yep, I. Uh, that's right. I also got the. Uh, they do come off. They're supposed to. I haven't seen these before, but I asked for them, and oh, <laughs> and oh, silly me. Um, no, this whole thing doesn't uh, screw off. The top screws off like that. There we go. Very nice. It's got the uh, thread on there, which the other ones don't have. There we go. There's the one. Slightly uh, smaller guard on the other one too. So I'm actually uh, rather liking the new bigger guard on this one. So I'm glad I uh, sprung for the extra banana plug version. That's really neat. That's basically a win. They got everything right. And uh, no, there's nothing uh, special. Uh, as I, um, like they didn't want to change, they could change the color, but they didn't want to change the mold. Like the new custom EV blog multimeter, as I've shown, it's got my little face actually molded in there. Bryman is not doing my new one, by the way. It's another manufacturer who shall still remain nameless, but it is not Bryman. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't have even said that. It nails it down. It narrows it down now. Anyway, um, there you go. The Bryman EV Block BM235 True RMS DMM. So, yeah, I have to start selling these. I don't, I'll have to, yeah, I still got to do some shopping cart stuff on the website and figure all that sort of stuff out. But, oh, and, uh, yep, we get a uh, cheap and cheerful uh, temperature probe as well and a manual once again. Um, I could have had uh, the manual uh, printed any way I want. Um, I, I've actually got the Word document file for this, so I can edit. I might actually edit the thing, um, have it download on my website. I might, you know, add the EV blog on here and just add maybe add a few things um, in there, perhaps. So yeah, I've just got to find time to uh, do that. But uh, yeah, the PDF I'll uh, I'll actually uh, provide on the website, of course, and uh, maybe with a few extra things in there. But there you go. Woo! It turned out. That's been well over a year. I, I think it's a year and... It's got to be 15 months. I think it's 15 months. This is, that's how long it takes for a, a company like Bryman to design and... Uh, they were even designing it before that, right? Because they obviously had it in mind. They had probably they had already started on it because they saw like a, a data sheet for it or something at the time, like 15 months ago. And that's how long it's taken them to actually design, produce, get it past uh, UL testing, because that uh, takes some time, and, uh, you know, and debug it, and, you know, write the software, do everything else, and get this from concept through to uh, market. So it's not on the market yet. I don't actually have a release date. I presume I can just start selling the thing. I'll be the first in the world to have it. Anyway, that's how long it takes. For a company to, you know, not just chew out a cheap, uh, not just churn out a heap of crap, you know, but to churn out a decent, uh, a decent meter. So there you go. Beauty. Hope you like that. Catch you next time.